Hello dear gamers, Yorkfield here and today we are back for the part 10 of my gameplay on Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I'm still back from the ninth part where I was so close to crying. Well, thankfully, I recovered a little bit. But now, we'll move on to part 10 and I'm hoping that I'm not gonna have like a mental breakdown or something similar to that like I had in part 7 and 8. Okay. Let's continue. Okie dokie. Okay, we are back now. Let's write this poem quick once again. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, the video just started and there's already this making me laugh. Okay, I'm not gonna choose that. Okay, again. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> one, 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 one out of 20. <laughs> so that's 1 trillion, 111 million, 111,111 out of 20. <laughs> the game is really glitched. It's messed up, guys. The game is really messed. Whoa, oh, oh, I saw Monica. I saw Monica right there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I saw her one more time. Okay. Hi, Yorkfield. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something? I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl who will be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. <laughs> Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Oh no, she's crying. Natsuki is crying. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Yorkfield, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Yorkfield is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him to the literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind of... The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in a, at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. 
She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, oh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. <coughs> Ten minutes pass. Yudi said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Oh. Let's see. The most logical place for Yudi to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha ha! Ha ha! What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and pee around it. Yudi? Yeah! <gasps> oh my god, this is definitely not normal. We just um, fast, forward, fast backwarded. I don't know if, I, if it's said like that in English. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Yolkville, do you like long tea? Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. UD sets the temperature on a kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Uh -huh. In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yudi fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that you, I would try expressing myself a bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yudi. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always wonder worrying about me, Yorkfield. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Yorkfield, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why? It's a little easier on my back. I can reel with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Ah! My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since we'll, it'll go well with the tea. Yudi and I sit, then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position at last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yudi slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hands that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus, because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. 
Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might set smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't, I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yudi closes her lips over it. Eh? Yudi's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yudi looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Yorkfield. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah! Yudi starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Yorkfield. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Yorkfield. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Yorkfield. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Yorkfield? Yuri, Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. What the fuck? Ha! Ah. What the hell? Ha! Ah. What the hell are you doing to me? Ha! Ah. Okay, stop. Chill. Um, it's time to share poems. Thank God it stopped. <laughs> I was worried about what she was gonna do to me. Okay, Natsuki, here we go. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean... I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Okay, finally a non-encrypted poem. If you remember last time, the Amy Likes Spiders poem was encrypted. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted... Excuse me. <clears throat> I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Do not... Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh no, it's glitching again. What the heck? She lost her face. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. Read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yudi's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Yorkfield? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yudi and I are 
too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica! Wait, I can only choose that? Just Monica. Wait, what? Why is the game rebooting? Just Mo- Okay, that was weird. Yorkfield, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have you tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. <clears throat> I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife! Isn't that kind of messed up? Yes, it is! She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing! <gasps> oh no, hell no, hell no. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all, of, all to you. So I think you, if you keep your distance, that will probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time, time with me. To put it lightly and at least have it together in the head. And I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, <clears throat> I worked really, really hard on this poem. So I hope that it's um, effective. Here goes. Wait, it's unreadable. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed it up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Okay, the game is glitching more and more. So the game files are really messed up, guys. This game is not normal. It messes with its own files. Finally! Ah! Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Yorkfield, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please. Sure, I don't care. Ah! You really, you're too nice to me, Yorkfield. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die! Not really, but I... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yes, it is! Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin- Oh, oh no! 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 Ah, oh, you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Holy shit! It's encrypted and also has blood all over it. This is unreadable, dude. This is unreadable. Okay, stop! Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... What are you saying? More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Okay, stop scaring me. I... I think I'm going to vomit. Oh no. What the fuck? It's blank, yes or no? Uh, yes? Okay, it was just, I think, um, do you want to read the poem? A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water, figuring out which way I was up. I surfaced myself, the air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. 
Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're the least, you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't write a successful poetry without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What, are you, what about Yorkfield? Yorkfield is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's how that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. Wait, what, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Yorkfield around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Yorkfield decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Yorkfield make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Yorkfield, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh. <laughs> I have to think wisely. Okay, guys, give me a few seconds so I can think. Yuri, wait, my... My cursor was moving for a few seconds. What the fuck is this? There's only Monica's. Hey, you picked me. I did it! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's a Sunday, okay, with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It's fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Yorkfield for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Ah, uh, Monica, I can't believe how de delusional and self-important you are. Pulling your workfield away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you... No way. It will be beneficial. No way. No, 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 no. Yuri, you're scaling me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Okay, you know what? Just in case, I'm going to save it in the empty slot. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Yorkfield. Yudi is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yudi pushes Ada out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Yorkfield, there's no need to spend a weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah. Well, there's something really wrong with me, isn't there? Yes! But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. Oh no, the music. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I've tried stopping myself at first. And I do hear some breathing at the ba in the background. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Yorkfield. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every jump of my blood in me is screaming your name. 
I don't care what the consequences anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Yorkville, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull- OH NO! I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Yorkfield. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? <sighs> if, I say, if I say no, she's probably going to die. <sighs> Alright. Yes. I'm not looking. No! No! Yuri! 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 What the? She is dead! What the fuck? She stabbed herself! I said yes! Why did you do that? Yuri! What is wrong with you? And there's blood everywhere! <clears throat> what the fuck are you saying? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. She's dead. Just as if Sayori's death wasn't enough, now Yuri is gone too. Holy shit. What the fuck are you saying? I can't understand you. What? What the hell? Come on, Yuri, what are you saying? I'm just spamming the enter key because of this. No way. Okay, can I try to load? Okay, I'm gonna try to load here. Oh no! I can't load anymore! I cannot load anymore! Holy fuck! Holy shit, holy fuck. I can't even load the game anymore. Let me try again. Nope. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was- Yeah! Ah! Oh no, she threw up. Natsuki threw up. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Yorkfield, did something happen? Yes! Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Ah, well that's a shame. Wait, you were here the entire weekend, Yorkfield? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll just- I'll make it to you, okay? Just give me a second. No! 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 You deleted them! Okay, let me check the game files. What the fuck?! She actually deleted them! She deleted Natsuki and Yuri! Ah! What the fuck?! I just wanna have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I just really had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just be with me, okay? This should only take a second. Oh, why is it? Uh-oh. Oh, my ears! Okay, I'm gonna try to save. <gasps> what?! She deleted the saves! 
Monica, what is wrong with you? She deleted the saves! There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Come on. Wait, I can't save anymore. I can't do this anymore. Okay, so I just quit the game because I could not load, save, return to the main menu or anything like that. It was totally broken. The game is totally messed up, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> right now, I feel like, oh my freaking heavens of god. Why did Yuri stab herself? She killed herself. I was not expecting Yuri to kill herself. I don't know if you were expecting it, but I wasn't personally. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting Yuri to do such a bad thing. I mean, yes, she likes horror, but she's totally obsessed with horror. She was totally obsessed with horror. But now Natsuki's gone. Sayuri is gone, and Yuri is gone, and there's only Monica left. What is going to happen in the next episode? Well, we'll find out very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Peace. Bye.